Hey guys, Zoya here from the StarCraft Squad. What happens whenever you get frustrated with this game? What? How do you handle it? Do you punch your keyboard? Do you scream at the top of your lungs? Do you just shit talk as many people as you can? All of these are valid, valid re ways to um, uh, you know, put out your anger toward this game. I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, I on my main account, Zoya, I will just lost six in a row. Went zero and six. And all of them, I lost to... What I want to say is the best players, but I lost because of small stupid mistakes on my part. So how do I react? I'm going to just, you know, show you two quick games on my Smurf account. Um, a good way that I like to push out my anger by cheesing my ass off. And I cheese my ass off hard these two games. Now both of these guys are against, this one right here was against a 2800 Protoss. Um, I am going to random Terran. And I cheese my ass off here. And I want to point out to you how bad these cheeses are yet I still win and it makes me feel so good so I don't know why I'm making this video who knows but I think it's a fun way of showing um, what I do whenever I get pissed off so we're gonna times for it really quick get to the good stuff um, I didn't realize he was Protoss. I thought he was Zerg, so I was just going to like, okay, let's bunker rush him. For some reason, I thought he was Protoss. I sent out two SCVs because I needed to find out where he was quick. So he wasn't up here. And then here's when I find out he's Protoss. And I go, oh, bunker rush might not work, but we're still going to do it because I'm in a bad mood. So first barracks going down. Second barracks about to go down. Oh, actually, second barracks went down in here. Third barracks going down right now, so I'm three raxing him and cheesing pretty damn hard. Now it's still on times two because we need to get to the action. He is getting his first load out pretty quick. Now first marine's on the way, and here I come to build my bunker. Now he's obviously able to see that. I put it right here for a reason because I did not. I, I wanted to be able to shoot the cybercorn stuff from down here. He's got his zealot though. He's going to come attack the SCV, shooting it with my marine. Um, Put that guy in there. I kite with this marine as long as possible. Uh, I do fail pretty hard though. And now I've got my um, my marine here, able to shoot. Use my SCV to give me a high ground advantage. And it's just, you know, it's, it's of course a really lame game because I'm cheesing my ass off here. But I don't know. I thought it was fun. I enjoy, whenever I'm in a bad mood, I think it feels great cheesing. So now I'm moving up with my Marines. Gonna fort kill this Zealot. Right now, he, I guess he wasn't, like, you know, ready for it. I guess he was gonna one gate expand or something. But now he's starting on four gates. I'm gonna be taking out this pylon, hopefully quickly, but Cybercore's gonna finish. He brings the probes, so, you know, I'm running down here. He's got his Zealot out now, and, um... Losing a Marine. I got one guy in the bunker. Need to get more in, and then... Now we've got, you know, my bunker here. He's trying to surround the kill the bunker. Zealot's about to die. And now we've got all these probes here. Bunker's gonna fall, but I'm still constantly pumping in a Marines. Now I'm ready to transition out of this, of course. I've got my command center going. But I th at this point, I'm like, okay, I've won this. So now, um, Stalker's trying to kite me. Uh, this is an annoying thing that can happen. I'm just gonna point this out real quick. Stalker, uh, kiting is really annoying. Uh, whenever you're doing some sort of cheese like this. Um, but the best way to stop it is just to, okay, attack his pylon. He's going to have to come back in the range, and then you just ping-pong back and forth until you win. So, that's going down. Still floating in more marines here. Focus firing on these two pylons. Unfortunately, these warp gates are going to finish, and he's going to warp in. For some reason, he chose sentries. I'm curious as to why he did that, but at this point, it's obviously over. Look how many probes he has um, compared, you know, look how, and two sentries for my marines. I'm going to fall back, you know, make him come to me. And then I'm going to just destroy these sentries pretty quick. Alright, so that's game one. Um, I, I felt a lot better after that one. Because like I said, I went 6-0 and on my... Or 0-6, oh sorry. Uh, on my main account here. Now, PBZ. I have never cheesed like this as photos. I don't think I've cheesed one. Unless you count 4-gating as cheesing. Which, it, it's, it's just... It's gimmicky. It's not cheesy. So, I don't know. But, um... I forward, I, uh, I uh, proxy gateway this guy. Um, so we're going to watch this game real quick. This one's a lot shorter than the other one. And right off the bat, I'm going to be sending out an early probe. 
I send one over here. Now I cut. I'm not. I don't cheese ever, guys. I only cheese when I'm mad, and that like I rarely ever get upset at this game. So I don't know like the, if there's particular build orders to these. I know the Koreans have these, you know, cheesy strats mastered and stuff. Um, so if a Korean player watches this game, he's gonna be like calling me a noob a hundred times. But I've never cheesed as Protoss once. So this is my first time doing it. Pylon's finished. I'm getting down late gateways, like really late. Two gateways going down. Um, and then I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna. B I've seen people do the two gateway proxy rush, but I'm like, whatever. I'm just gonna build three. Now I don't think I build very many probes. Like I build like very few. And then I see that he expands before spawning pool. So I'm like, okay, I've probably won this game now. Um, I don't know. I was just in a cheesy mood uh, after being, you know, destroyed on the Master League games. And kind of boosting out my first two zealots. About to get a third one now. And I'm going to be very close to supply blocking myself. i got another pylon down. Now, I'm not even going to mess with this expansion. Uh, and now I'm scouted. So he knows I'm proxy gating him. And now I've got... I, I just like, okay, whatever. Let's focus fire down this spawning pool. Um, for some reason, it didn't even cross my mind to kill that spine crawler right now. Like, I could have had two of my zealots over here killing the spine crawler. And one on the spawning pool. Uh, I'd even do that though. Killing as many zerglings as possible can. Now, right now I'm like, oh wait, there's a spine crawler, ha ha ha. So uh, I start to kill it, and it, I thought I was gonna lose. I was like, oh shit, this spine crawler is gonna live. But apparently, I didn't see that one zealot still alive there. I thought I only had one left, but um, got more floating in constantly. And the guy was actually, if I would have been this zerg player, I would have, you know, raged hard. But he actually said GG and left. So. Snarf, if you ever watch this video, you are the man. Way to keep your cool. I would have raged so hard, but I don't know. That's how I deal with my uh, losing streaks. You know, went six, zero and six, and uh, I felt like shit afterwards. And I'm like, whatever. I'm gonna go play my random account. And I wasn't planning on cheesing when I got on him, but the first game I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna cheese my ass off here. And then the second game I was like, whatever. I'm gonna do it again. And uh, I don't know. I'm obviously in a better mood now, as you can tell from the tone of my voice. And now oh, this is just one way of coping with your rage. There's several others out there. I prefer not to, you know, destroy my equipment though, so I won't. Ref I'll refrain from, you know, punching my wall and stuff. I don't know. Post in your uh, comments down below, guys, what you think or uh, how you guys handle your rage when playing this game. Uh, there's lots of different techniques. Some people just get up and walk away. Some people curse people out. And it's funny hearing people's stories. So I don't know. Put your, um, you know, kookiest story of how you've handled your rage down below. And yeah, make sure you guys check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash StarCraft Squad. Uh, make sure you uh, check out my paid training service. It's $8 an hour. And uh, check out the battle for the viewers. Um, there's several ways to get into the tournament. Round of th it's a best of 32 tournament. First place gets 50 bucks cash in the mail from me, so make sure you check that out. All the stuff will be in the description down below, and if there's anything else, you can find it there. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, I'm Zoya. See you guys in the next video.